Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. This is at the hotel. And you can see the shooters are getting in position for their planned out murder. And they are shooting at Charles now. And you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. And again, they're still shooting at him. He's the right front passenger in that vehicle. It's clear from that video what they were set out to do and what they had planned to do. The investigation would later reveal. Wow, wow, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, guys. Um, I know you heard me early on uh, really, really following this Fulio uh, case. Different things are still coming out. They made some arrests, guys. We knew that this was coming. Um, you know, these, they said they wasn't gonna stop until they made arrests. And here we are, weeks later, in Tampa, they made the arrest. Um, you know, he, Julio was shot and killed uh, in, in that parking lot of that hotel in Tampa. Um, and, you know, the arrest was made, you know. Uh, he was a Jacksonville rapper, and, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I, I don't know nothing else but to be honest with you, man. These, these, ki these kids, to me, look so young, it messed my head up just looking at them. If you're older cats, you can relate, man. Look at those faces, and you see that they, they look so young. And then, you know, um, if you're a father and you look at this and all these young lives that's being affected, uh, you, you're like, dang, man, you hate to see this happening. And, you know, a lot of people enjoy this music, but this come with the music. Like, you know, if you talking about sliding and shooting and running up and you're going to do this to your ops, and this is what, this is what it comes with you know and these guys like I said now facing some tough charges taking a man life now you're about to lose uh three here's three people on this screen uh four that were well, four with Fulio which he's dead now so you might as well count that as a loss because he's not coming back from that and then these these kids here they're about to be uh you know pretty much going through something where you can just count them as a loss. So everybody loses in this situation. I don't really see no winners in this situation. Um, it's just sad, man. It saddens my heart to see uh, our young people, you know, steadily going out like this. I don't think this is something that, um, you know, we should glorify. I don't think it's something that we should, uh, you know, not speak on either, you know, because being somebody that's uh, been through a lot and was young and have had issues and have had dealings where I grouped up with certain people to do certain things that I'm not proud of, uh, I'm not gonna get here at this age now and forget about what I went through to get to be who I am and be a witness for these, these younger people. Um, all I can say is, man, the blessing comes in the fact of, you know, they still got their life, but they took Fulio's life. And if you look the way they were showing the cars, this was a, I mean, it seems like a very, to be so young, the hit seemed so strategic and so thought out the way that they was moving and they was moving with precision. Uh, the, you could, you could look and tell that it was almost like, you, I don't know, you know, in Dallas one time they had a shooting where, um, you know, a, a army, a guy from the army that my brother used to know at the bazaar. And, uh, he went down and he ended up shooting, uh, five, uh, I believe police officers and killing them downtown. And if you remember that, they sent a little machine in there to, they sent the machine in there to, to, to kill him. And right after that, I believe it was the chief of police, he stepped down and he moved away. But the way that man was moving and blah, 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 blah. He was shooting and moving with precision. And when you look at these kids, it almost seems as if they had training. The way they was moving around, the way they was strategically doing it, and they got that man. They know that Fulio was the, was, was, was the one that they was trying to get, and they got him. So when you look and see how they were doing it, and what it was dark out there, but you could see the moving, the way they were moving, the way they was uh, you know attacking that car. Um, you could tell that these guys uh, was not playing, that it was all business out there at this point. And you know, it's just sad because at the end of the day, 
you got mothers and fathers that's, that's not like me that's not going to be able to deal with their children no more. And, 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 and their children is, is, is going out like this. And Fulio, man, rest, God rest his soul, man. And all this stuff, man, these guys, was go, they was, it was a war. And, and it's still going on. A lot of times you hear these songs and people saying stuff, it can, it can end up like this. Uh, these guys, rivalries, uh, bad blood, lost this person a year before. You're going to see this kind of stuff come out. You hate to see it, but it's, it is what comes out. And you got to understand, this is just how it goes. So, again, man, we got to figure out ways to uh, 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 do something to try to input something that can change the algorithm of our young kids dying and going to prison. And, and I hate to see that, but this officer already has said the same guy that came out of initially, he was going to get to the bottom of it. And from the looks of it, he's getting to the bottom of it. We are. And, 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 and some people are saying that the girl on here is the one that dropped the location. Allegedly, she's the one that pretty much set everything up. Another thing I'm going to tell you, just cause you see a pretty face don't mean that you can take it in and, 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 and for what you see. Because you never know what a person has got on their mind when they're dealing with you. So when you see her, you don't look at her and think she's about to try to set. You can't go by looks at this. You can't go by looks on this because at the end of the day, that's not what you're thinking when you're dealing with it. So I'm pretty sure Fulio just was slipping, you know, um, and that's just how it happened. I mean, same thing, you know, even uh, here in Dallas when Mo3 died, it was same thing like when you get uh with women you start to think with the wrong head and you don't be on on point and on key like you need to be so young brothers man when you out here man you're supposed to be leaders bro so don't let don't be getting caught slipping because you thinking with the wrong head i'm telling you man this is the whole game man uh the girl that they, they're not saying she was a setup girl and they say they got two more outside of these three that they're gonna arrest so we got to figure out ways to, to do something to help our young people. I'm not one going to sit back and not say something. I have a voice to speak on such certain situations because I've been these young kids before and I set out to do what they doing and worse. So I've been there. So I'm not going to sit back now and just be quiet and act like I never did no wrong because I changed because I got older. No, I'm going to say, hey, man, what can we do to get in front of this and tell them, hey, I've been there. You're not doing something I ain't done before or haven't been a part of before or, or had, I could have been you. So, man, I feel bad for these kids, bro. And I call them kids. Y'all can call them what y'all want. But I see kids on this screen and I don't see I, all four of these people on the screens that sits behind me to me looks like kids, bro. And it's sad because to see these kids, life get taken away so young and they have to go sit down and do time. And they have to, you know, be like Fulio and never come back. I was going to end up, I already had vowed I would end up either dead or in prison before I turned 23. And that's something you got to think about. You know, I'm still here. You figured out the rest. I'm still here. And like I said, these kids ain't doing nothing that some of y'all older parents have not done. And they just don't admit it. And they won't talk. And they, they go in a closet somewhere and act like they never did no wrong. But I'm wanting to tell you, bro, if any of these kids or any kid, anybody want to reach out to me and say, hey, man, hey, I'm, I'm going through it. Um, you know, you can talk to me, bro. Yeah, Boss Talk 101 is in the building, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. R.I.P. to uh, Fulio, and, and I hate this happen with these kids, bro. And like I said, I hate every, all this stuff is just the devil. Uh, uh, you know what? He come to kill, steal, and destroy. And I know y'all say, don't blame it on the devil. I'm telling you right now. I'm blaming it on the devil. And he come to kill, steal, and destroy, and he destroyed all these people's life on the channel right here behind me. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, join the membership. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.